Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. This is War on the Sea, a World War II strategy game which takes place in the air, the sea, and under the sea. Under the sea. Do, 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 do. Anyway, that's enough singing. Um, yeah, so, done the tutorial. I've kind of played the campaign for two minutes just to see what it was like. And now we're jumping in and playing the campaign for real. So, let's campaign, god damn it. And we're going to do Operation Watchtower. Let's start. So it kind of gives you like a little bit of a prelude. Just read it. Pause the video if you want to have a read. Continue, 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 continue. Right, did you read it all? Good. <laughs> so, um, intelligence reports indicate enemy troops have landed on the Grenoble Canal, I think that's how you pronounce it, and began construction of an airfield. Once finished, long-range bombers will be free to attack Allied supply lines between America and Australia and provide air cover for the Imperial Japanese Navy to operate further south. Using New Hebrides as a forward base, your orders are to take back the Grenada Canal, build a major airfield there, and clear the neighboring islands of any hostile forces. Let's click continue, and let's jump in. So, we have this point here, New Hebrides. These are all the points the enemies could have. These big red marks, they definitely have. These kind of, I don't know, lighter reds are basically contested. There's no units there that we knew of so as you can see really we want to be taking these first two bad boys first we want to be taking a Rennell island and santa cruz islands because that would give us a really good staging area to bomb and support our um endeavors to take the granada canal over there we don't know any troop numbers yet and you can see they've got loads of bases out of here as well so they're gonna have there are two airfields there well, level 2 airfield there. There's a 0 and 0 there, which basically means there's nothing really there. Here, yeah, they've got a level 2 airfield and level 2 navy. We also have down here, we have Milne Bay, which has a level 1 airfield. And we also have Port Mozambi, uh, which has a level 3 airport, which means we can launch uh, fighters and stuff from there if need be. But we're not going to be pushing over here for quite a while, so they'll probably just sort of chill as they are. So the first thing we need to do is really figure out what we're going to do. We're going to take these two islands, so I'm going to build two convoys. One to go there, one to go there. I'm going to not worry about any submarines yet. I just want to get myself established because submarines are more fun. We get up here and we're going to because they'll be doing like shipping lanes between like here and there, for example. So that's where I'll put me submarines and they can like get up no good. A bit of mischief, you know, cause a mischief against them Japanese. So let's get a new C unit done. Um, We're going to... So all these are different classes. Now one thing I wish it would do is like put Tamba Sub, Gato Sub, that Destroyer. Just because it's a little bit... um. Yeah, it's a bit tedious and, uh, I mean, unless if you know your World War II history very good and happen to be American World War II history especially, I'm not going to know what's what. Um, so, I think what we're going to do, we're going to put two destroyers, because destroyers are good for hunting them pesky submarines. So, let's have, he has the cost, so you can see he had 10 cost. We have 250 points, so we've got quite a few. Let's put a Fletcher class. So there we go. We will then put another Fletcher class. However, you have to change its name. So this is going to be the Radford. So we've got the Fletcher and the Radford. Then we're going to get some um, of the... Where are you guys? They're merchants. Think maybe three merchants. And a oiler, which means we can take fuel over. That's the Camarion. And then we'll have two more destroyers. Should we have one? Dis we'll have maybe a light destroyer. There. We'll have one of them bad boys. And maybe just a cruiser, just in case we come across any enemy units so we can maybe fight them. Uh, how many points are you? 20. This is 73, so that's going to put it up to almost... Uh, seems to be putting a bit higher. Can we maybe a light, different light cruiser. That's 87. So I think that's good. That's that's fine. Let's create that first task group. Let's cargo this up. 
So, we're not going to worry about you. I mean, you can carry troops if you want, but we're not going to. So, you can carry troops, so 1,250. You can also carry troops. We're going to have you carrying supplies. We're going to have you carrying engineer. Oh, no, you can only carry fuel. Obviously, you're an oiler. So, yeah, that should be good enough for there. And these guys are going to go over to Rennell Island. Do I need engineering? I might need engineering, you know. Let's go back to... Guys, could you ditch them and we'll get some engineers over? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good to me. Or do we want some more supplies? You know, we can always drop some more off, I think. We're not too worried about that. So your course, guys, is you're going to go over to... Yeah. Thank you very much. Right, we want another task force. The map's a little bit funky sometimes, how it moves. So I'm going to click back on New Hebrides. Want New C. I want to do the, pretty much the same. So we're just going to grab some destroyers. Uh, we'll have another two Fletchers. So this one's going to have to be the Jenkins. And the, the, the Valetti. And then again, we will grab some merchants. So we'll have... I think we'll send no oilers to this one. So maybe just three of them. And then again, we'll copy that sort of thing again. So we'll have a light cruiser. Oh, no, we want to change. Delphia. And also, we'll then get the destroyer. Well, I've got Sims class. Let's have the Hughes class over there. There we go. Um, you can go on two column left, whatever that is. It's the formation. So basically, it's going to look like that. So one, two. So one, two up front, seven on its own, six and five. So it's a quite good flanking for me. Um, you seem good to me. Let's cargo you guys up and we will have some troops. We'll have some supplies. We'll have some engineering and we don't take any fuel, obviously, so that's fine. And then your course is to go up to there. Sweet. So we have 91 points remaining. We could get a couple of subs, mind. Should we get a couple of subs or should we get an air wing? How much is an air wing? I don't think air wings are hugely expensive. I don't think their range will get over there. So yeah, let's have, let's have a little subgroup. I'm going to be sending a subgroup up here somewhere just to make sure there's no enemy going around. How much will a subgroup cost? The gate -o. So the gate -o, they're only five. Oh, only five. Okay, okay, let's create, yeah, let's create one of them groups. We'll have uh, the Gato and the Greenland. Ten points. That is perfectly fine. Done, and I want your course. I want you to sit kind of up here. And you're just going to, you know, kind of make yourselves a bit of a nuisance. And then that leaves us 81 points left to go, which I'm happy with. We've loaded up cargo. Let's hit that player button. Let's put it on fast time. So you see all the little ships moving out. So they should split off in a second. One up there, one up there. Submarine's off on its own. The task force group's going over here. Hopefully, they make it without getting intercepted. Would be lovely. So far, so good. So far, so good. No enemy, anything spotted. The way the encounters work, I'll just talk while it's sort of before we press play again. If it goes red, you'll sort of know what you're encountering. So it'll kind of show you like a task force group, a submarine group. If, from what I can tell, if there's nothing there, it means something's been detected. Usually some sort of uh, torpedoes in the water. So if it goes to just a random encounter, you're like, okay, I better run. Um, airplane encounters, if they're seaplanes, you don't need to react to them. You can just go, actually, I'm going to ignore that because they can't do any damage for you. They're just kind of there to spot you. Um, I believe one of these may actually have... I think one of these does have... Oh, it's too dark anyway. Um, 
Yeah, I think some of these might have actually aircraft on them, which we could launch in a bit just to play around. It's still nighttime, which basically means there's going to be no aircraft in the sky yet until 5 o'clock in the morning. But once it gets to 5, we might launch an aircraft. Yeah, let's do that. Once it gets to 5, we'll launch. Right, okay, so let's pause it there. You, um, I think... You have no aircraft. Maybe we don't have a ship with aircraft on, actually. I oh, would do. So you have some kingfishers uh, with no ornaments, but we can sort of scout. So let's get them bad boys in the air. And I just want you to kind of head over there. Kind of be a bit of a forward scout, which would be nice. Our first ship is almost landed up there. They're coming back to base now. Good, 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 good. They've got to be within 50 nautical miles to drop off. So Task Force 2, are you close enough? Or do I need to... Nope, you've got to be a bit closer. All right, so course. Um, could you go a little bit closer for me? Thank you very much. Let's play that out. Good, good, good. Right, unload all. Yay! Santa Cruz is now under our control. Sweet. So straight away, let's get these bad boys back here. And then we can get them doing something else. Um, what can we do on these islands? We can... I think we can actually build an airfield if we want. But I don't know if I want to build it there. I mean, range-wise, it's this is a bit closer for us. So I want to concentrate on getting these ones. So let's fast forward. So you can see here, here's a encounter. But it just looks like some sort of... Um, Aeroplane, some sort of, you know, it's not really going to pester us. So we can ignore that one. So let's continue on our journey. They're just buzzing around, being annoying. I mean, if they're happy to concentrate up there. So something around about here then, possibly. Some sort of enemy task force, maybe. So yeah, you're just going to sit there and just be a pain. If anything comes by, it will blow them up. And I think we're going to make it. Oh, no, 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 no. What was spotted? Enemy ship spotted near Task Force 3. That's Task Force 3. Ah, aha! Oh, we have a naval battle. Oh, no. Uh, two destroyers, two light cruisers, and a heavy cruiser. Right. Um, you can't do anything, by the way. Once you get your encounter, the game goes tough. You're encountering. So, yeah, I'm going to save it. I've never done a encounter before. I've, I've been encountered but never done one on my little test play. So we're going to begin. Now we're getting into the crux of battle. So we've got the gate on the Greelin. Uh, we don't know where the enemy is yet, so we're going to press start. You can retreat at any time, but there is a period of time to wait before you can retreat. So bear that in mind. So um, we need to find these ships. So gate O, uh, could you, dudes, I want you to get a periscope depth and put that up the greening i want you to break off and i also want you to put your scope and go to periscope depth as well and we need oh hang on there's them ships right okay uh pause 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 i'm gonna get the greeland binoculars out so oh we can't move this while Let's play. We'll keep on to number one. All right, so what I'm going to do, I think, is... Um, seen them there, so I want you to navigate kind of that way. And the gate, oh, again, navigate that way for me. And the gate, oh... Or the Greeland, sorry. Um, I want you to target that. So start targeting that. Get me a solution on it. And the Gato. I want you to target number two for me. So the Greenland should be going for number one. You should be going for number two. Yep, good, 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 good. And we should be turning into them now. 
The green and the U turning around. Yeah, but I think I may have just screwed that up. So, navigation. Um, yeah, I've put two navigation points on. I don't know how you get rid of a navigation point. I think you just kind of take it over. So, if I kind of do that, yeah, that comes it right. Navigation. Let's head kind of down that way. Gate O. Kind of cancel that navigation for me. Good. And we're going to head down about there. Should be fine. You're building up your solution. So we've currently got a solution of 30. You've currently got a solution of 40. We're on about 100% before we engage. I think we're going to get within about 1,500 yards and then turn to a run. And we're going to do a quick turn. So I think the Greenland actually, I don't need to get that close. Could you navigate to about there? I don't know why it's not. I do want to tell me to do, but that's fine. Gatlin, you're the gate, are you still following waypoints? Yeah, good. Alright, so the Greenland. How close are we now? 1,800. Um, so when we go to Pedo, I want a full spread of all six with a five degree spread sounds good and as soon as you've got a solution I'm gonna get you ready to fire the gate though seem to just be knocking around not doing much I think you are doing something aren't you Right, the Greeland, and then literally we're going to just turn around. The solution still isn't great. I think we're going to miss them if we're not careful. I wonder why the solution's so bad. I don't know, let's go up. Oh. You stop. I feel like we're way too close. I think what I'm going to do then is maybe aim for that guy. I'll get that for me. I feel we're going to miss it. The gate needs to get forward and quick. Actually, the greener might just be able to come behind them and kill them. That could be a good idea, actually. You don't have a great solution either. Hmm. It is nighttime, like. Um, oh, do I risk it? I don't even know if it's worth risking it. Because we could lose both subs here. Right. Green, I want you to go to... I don't know why you're not listening to me. But we're on full speed ahead. I want you to... Sound off. And I want you to target that dude at the back there. Actually, target that one. Stop that target when you talk. Yeah, though. Um, we're still only on a very low solution. But I think we're going to miss it all as well. I don't think we're going to get this. I say I've not practiced submarine warfare, so I'm not sure 
how it kind of works. Hmm, it's tense. I'm just not getting the fire solution. This needs to be around about 90% to be perfect. But I think I may have missed me chance. I don't think I can catch them up. I'm thinking maybe because I've messed it up. I'm just going to abandon this one and mark this as lesson learned. So I want you to nav up there. The gate, oh, maybe he's going to get a shot away. I think it's just worth maybe just firing some now. And then I want you to do a absolute turn. I need to dip a couple of feet. I don't think they're going to hit anything, but we're going to follow them anyway. Well, you should be... The gate or should be... Oh, God. How bad were them? Look at them. They just totally turned away. Yep, I think it is time to abandon this one. And I'm going to class this as a lesson learned. Where is my sub? Yeah, we still need four. It's just dark. The sea's a bit thingy. We need to be way closer. And we're not catching them at any sort of speed. Go above the water. And you can see the torpedoes over there. They're not getting anywhere near. No, nah, not even close. Not even close. So we're just going to retreat. Going to put my first battle down as a terrible, terrible, terrible loss. I think that was the problem. Overcast, low visibility, high winds, and yeah. You can see it there. Might have, if, yeah. <laughs> Just no. Not going to happen. We're out of danger, though. We're moving away. Got 111. I don't think we can compress time because we've got torpedoes in the water. You can see the graphics are quite nice. Like, you can click on them. And you can even self-identify if you want. So, I think, is it this button? Yeah, you can be like, right, target two um, is a whatever it's going to be. So you can have a look and be like, hmm, so that could be a light cruiser three. That's probably it, to be fair. And then click that button. And that classifies that target, which gives you a bit of a better solution sometimes um, and stuff like that. But that was actually target four, not target two, so... You just stop with the solutions. Leave. Confirm. Did no damage. Nothing happened. So we can move on. And yeah, we will... We only fired six missiles, so... Uh, torpedoes, so we'll keep them there. That's forward time again. You guys are almost there, so stop. Let's unload all... Sweet, we've now got that under control. I want an airfield. And then I want you to course back to over here. We've only got 81 command points, but that's fine. So let's forward that on. And then we'll just keep ferrying supplies between the two soldiers, that sort of thing. Uh, we could form a new air wing here. So new air, and we'll have, now do we need them to do much? Let's just get the four wildcats, and then if we need them, we can do sync with them. Something is picking up something. Our subs are very quiet. An encounter task force three, which is these, I oh don't know. 
of these guys again. So they've just got some planes buzzing around so I can ignore it. Tell you what, because I'm not 100% confident of how to um, do submarine warfare yet. Let's just have them sitting around here just in case these are coming for our guys. Still buzzing around. But I'll tell you what we can do. Oh no, I've flown away. I was going to say if they came any closer, we could have launched our uh, aircraft from there. Right, you're back. So I want you to um, cargo. Yep, I want you to get some more supplies. Type three, get some more supplies on board. Good. Uh, do we need any more troops on board? Probably not. Is this the one for the oiler in? No, it's not. We'll get some more troops over there. More supplies. Actually, do we need more supplies? I don't know if we need them, but we'll take them anyway. Yep, and then you can head back up here. Good. And then press play. Submarines just floating around. Our airfield's ready. I mean, if now this gets an aircraft above it, we'll send these guys straight over to sort them out. But for the moment, I don't think they're particularly getting harassed. What is worrying is there is a convoy somewhere around here. That TAC unit was heading over this way. So we just got to kind of hope they're not around here. Because we don't really have much defense. I could split the cruisers off. We've got cruiser and destroyer on there. And once these guys are back, we'll send them back over there. Enemy aircraft spotted near you. You don't have an airfield, do you? You don't have the supplies either. Um... Do you have any aircraft? You have some kingfishers, but I don't think they can do anything. I think. We'll launch them anyway. I don't think they can. No. Yeah, I don't think they can do anything, which is a bit of a shame. Play. Yeah, there's not much you can do because you haven't got any weapons. Right, um, are you back yet? No. So let's forward. You're almost back. Go back. We can send you back out. Stop it. Ryan. And you're back. No, good, right. And you're there. Sweet. We need to probably get you a little bit closer. All right, pause, 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 pause. No, you, I want you to unload all. Hi. Ugh, I still can't. Why haven't I got? insufficient resources i don't have enough fuel that's what the problem is up there that's fine then right course back so and i think what we might do is let's cargo these guys up we'll get so we only have 100 fuel left on here so really get that up there so Let's get some more troops. Get more supplies. Supplies. And you can have some fuel. Fine. And we'll send these guys actually up here. Actually, do I want two bases? Mm, I don't know. Need these kind of guys over there, though. That's the problem. Did your course keep there? Either? I think what I might do is I do need some more fuel up that way. Let's get a new, get a, we've got 81 points. How much is a fuel thing? 15. So I think maybe a heavy cruiser. Like so. 
a destroyer. Nicholas and an oiler. Good, 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 good. Done. And cargo. And I want the oiler to get the end of that fuel. Oh no, we took the fuel away, didn't we? Uh, damn it. That was a stupid thing to do. What a waste. Um, Tell you what then, if you just release back to base, we'll keep them two. We've got 49 points, so let's task force four. I just kind of want you patrolling. I don't know what damage you can do, but I think we might be able to do some if we came across anything. So let's just kind of head up there. Right, and play. Oh, one time submarine spotted uh task force two is on its way back right we have some submarine warfare guys problem is it's 31 minutes into the video which is about what i wanted it to be so you know what cliffhanger <laughs> hey right join me in episode two where we're gonna take on this submarine i'll catch you on the next one goodbye